Hi, welcome back. All this time, we have been looking at procurement from a customer's perspective. Now, let us look at procurement from a supplier's perspective. As we all know, every supplier will have their own objectives and targets that they need to meet. Therefore, it is very important as responsible customers, we understand the objectives, so the outcome will be a win-win. Therefore, before finalizing a procurement strategy or a tactic, it is very important that we consider the chosen supplier's objectives. This is known as supplier preferencing. Now, let us focus on the picture which is on this slide. A supplier would look at a customer from four perspectives. And those four will be assessed through two variables. One would be how attractive is the customer's account. And the second one would be the potential profit that account would generate. Let us focus on the top left hand corner box in this chart. In that area, customers will be categorized where the account attraction is high but the potential profit is low. Even though the current potential profit is low, they will see an attraction in the future. Therefore, the suppliers will develop or nurture these customers and try to help them to expand their business. Because even though there will be less profit today, there will be high profits tomorrow. Let's look at the box which is on the bottom left hand corner. An area that a supplier would not like to be in. This set of customers, the attraction is low as well as the potential profit. So, from a supplier's perspective, investing on these customers would not generate much value. Just focus on the top right hand corner box. This is called the core customers. Here, the customer's account is very attractive and the potential profit is also very high. Suppliers would love to work with these customers. Then, the last box which is on the bottom of the right hand side. These customers, the account attraction is low but the current profit is very high. With these customers, supplier would charge a premium price and would take a short term advantage. So as customers, we clearly need to understand how a supplier would look at us and where would we fall out of these four boxes. If we understand that properly, then we can develop our strategies and make our roadmaps for our projects accordingly so that the interaction or the engagement would be a win-win. Anyone who knows about the ship Titanic will identify this picture. Yes, it's an iceberg. The iceberg concept is being used in management to understand so many theories. So I thought of bringing in the same concept for this procurement lecture as well. Just look at this iceberg. The tip of the iceberg, which is the visible part, represents the price. But beneath the water, you will see so many other costs that a customer would have to pay. This is exactly what we face or what we experience in our workplace. When you purchase something, most of the people will be focusing on the price that they are going to pay. That's all they see, nothing much. But when you are selecting a supplier, when you are concluding a procurement, you need to consider the entire cost. 
You recall that we discussed about a concept called the TCO, total cost of ownership. This represents something like that. So when you are finalizing a procurement, price is not only the factor to be considered, there are so many other factors. And if you can see on the slide, I have highlighted few. So on-time delivery, correct support, correct training, what will be the inventory cost, what will be the logistic method, what are the inspection levels, what are the handling cost. So you need to consider the entire spectrum before finalizing a procurement. This is a very important concept. As we reach towards the end of the session, I thought of sharing few ideas or initiatives that every organization should focus in terms of promoting or developing a procurement function within an organization, which will end of the day bring value. Please note, all the initiatives that I have listed here might not be able to practice by all organizations. But we need to carefully understand these facts and implement or practice as much as possible so that the benefit will be gained by the organization. Let's focus on few. The first one, identifying and work with key suppliers. So identification of the correct suppliers is very important. Having a huge database of suppliers would not be the correct approach. We need to identify the key suppliers who understands our objectives and who can work with us as partners. Another factor, develop openness and transparency. In today's world, we have moved out of a transactional level engagement. It's more of a partnership. In order to build a partnership, the supplier and the customer needs to build their trust and long-term relationships. Therefore, it's very important that both parties be open to each other with transparency. Moving on, both parties, meaning the supplier and the customer, they need to support each other for their mutual goals. It's very important. Both parties should establish a common language. They should help each other to achieve their respective objectives. Correct people should be recruited and they should be empowered at the correct time. The supplier should be empowered as well. The technology is developing. So we need to move out of manual processes and manual work and bring in this advanced technology into the entire procurement process. Otherwise, we will be left behind. And end of the day, every stakeholder is responsible for procurement. It's not just the procurement team because procurement is a team game. So in a project for, rest for respective procurements, the team has to work collectively. The procurement team, the project team, the project managers, and the respective stakeholders, as well as the suppliers. If they work together, of course, the project would be a success. But if not, then you will know the outcome. Before wrapping up, let us go through some examples where some leading organizations have practiced the correct procurement approach. I'm sure that most of you all will recognize this brand. Yes, it's Hertz Corporation. They are one of the largest car renting organizations 
in the United States. And let's see their approach towards procurement and overall company goals. So the buyers within the procurement division they have been urged to remember that their business's overall strategy when trying to transform their procurement, meaning they need to be ensuring that when a procurement is completed, the outcome is in line with their overall business strategy. The procurement strategy cannot be something outside the overall strategy. It should be in line and it also says if procurement cannot align itself with what the organization wants to achieve it will not get the support for what it wants so both the organization and the procurement who manages 80% of their spent should be in line one of the greatest car manufacturers from Europe Ford and this is what Ford believes in procurement. They believe that purchasing and supply chain for many is now directly linked into their company's business strategies and it recognizes that it has a real impact on competitive advantage. So within Ford Motor Company, they believe that procurement controls the ultimate profitability of that organization. Siemens is another technology organization and they truly believe in supplier partnerships. The cost will be one of their second factors and innovation is in on top of their list. What they truly believe is that through innovation or developing new products and services, they will be better than their competitors and they would be different to their competitors which, which would be their competitive advantage. So they are working as partners with their suppliers to bring in innovation to their table, which will impact on their overall company objectives. Now, before wrapping up, let's summarize what we have learned today. Procurement is a very important function in an organization. And we learn the definition of a procurement and how it can impact an organization. The approach of the procurement has evolved over the past two decades. About 20 years back, it was simply buying, but today it's a scientific approach. In today's business world, procurement managers around 70% of an organization's cost. Procurement is a team game, and all stakeholders have to work together as one team to make sure that the correct decision has been made. The purchase price is just one aspect of the entire purchase decision. The correct approach should be considering the TCO. As customers, we need to consider suppliers as partners. Having a long list of suppliers would not add any value. You need to select the correct people and work with them. We also need to understand our suppliers' objectives and targets, which will enable both suppliers and the customers to work as one team. 